Craig. Yeah, Bobby D and I are enjoying our morning Pappy Van Winkle right now. Uh, of course you are. Of course you are. So tell, tell us a little bit about, why don't you interview Bobby D right there. Tell us what you're learning in AMM. Well, I, I'm, I'm excited to have our friend Bobby D. Ellard here from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, he's also uh, a champion auctioneer and world champion auctioneer. And we're here at the NAA, and we're in our classroom waiting for our class to start at 8 o'clock, which is uh, soon appro fast approaching, and it is the auction method of marketing class. So it's an extremely exciting class. We're learning about how to stay on the cutting edge of uh, the auction industry, appraisal industry, and on the cutting edge of technology. So uh, w what are some of your feelings about the class, Bobby D? It's, it's, it's been a mind-blowing class. Now, we, we consider ourselves auctioneers, and, and we talk real fast, and, and we sell things, and, and we help sellers and buyers come together. But we're so much more than that. We're marketers. And, and once we see ourselves as that, and how do we reach a broad uh, population of, of buyers, we can offer our assets more effectively. Whereas what we're learning in this class is that you know the word auction is not always the best word for marketing, but actually talking about what the asset is. And you can buy now or you can bid your own price. And when we can put that marketing out there, then more people are going to feel inclined to come in because I'd say 95% of the world really doesn't even know what an auction is or they're not comfortable in bidding at auctions. So we want to tell them that it's okay to come and bid their price and, and to buy it now or, or, or be a part of this sales event. And, and that's what we're learning in class, that we can move beyond uh, just being the auctioneer, but now we are the best marketer in the marketplace. So Trey, are you are you ready? Are you ready for this weekend? Trey, are you talking? To? Oh, to Trey. I was just asking him how he's feeling about this weekend coming up. Uh, the IEC uh, competition, I guess, is what you're talking about. Yeah. But I am extremely excited. It's a life-changing experience and uh, self-growth at its finest. We want to be the best in this industry. That's why we come to this convention and. Uh, that contest, just walking across that stage in front of your peers, being judged, it's a, it's a really life-changing experience. And whether you win or whether you lose, or it, you always take something away you from always it. always win. Yeah. It's, you're right. really a winner. And you can sign up and have the courage. And I tell everyone that came into the class, I said, I congratulate each and every one of you because you're taking a step toward betterment of yourself and your industry and that's the difference well one of the great things also about the competition is it doesn't matter if uh, if you are the winner or the uh, the loser of the competition you're really not a loser but the greatest thing about the competition is there are over 800 people or between seven and eight hundred people in that room rooting for every single person that gets up there to compete um, and I, I, I couldn't do it because I have a hard time putting three words together in a sentence, let alone trying to sell something at well, auction. You're doing pretty well today, Greg. You're, you're chatty, Kathy, this it, morning. You know, Greg, I would challenge you next year to take a step onto that IAC stage. I tell so many auctioneers that are scared to do that to say, you will become a better auctioneer when you stand on that stage and, and present yourself, and no matter how fast or how good you are, when you step off that stage, I can guarantee you, you will be a better auctioneer. Well, I'll have to think about that one. <laughs> what do you think, Tim? Should should, should Greg join the? Take my class first, Bobby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have to take his class. Yeah. Okay. On the bridge here in uh, Grand Rapids, I had a great day at the AMM class, and uh, ready. Bobby D here with my man, the fast-talking podcast host, the one and the only Andy Imholt. Hey, Bobby. How are you doing? I'm fantastic, buddy. How are you doing? <laughs> well, I just got in today. I'm really excited. I've been excited about a lot of the videos you've been posting. I'm really excited to be on here. It's an honor to be on your blog as well. One of the things that really has been exciting this last week was I put out the podcast on Monday, episode 129 of the Fast Talking Podcast on Pokemon. On Pokemon. I, I linked it in yesterday's video, but there's another link in the bottom. You have to listen to it. It's awesome. You had Andy and then PJ was on there. Yeah, PJ Fanberg from Minnesota. Yep. Uh, he couldn't be here today, otherwise uh, he would be part of this conversation here. But 
I'll tell you what, what was really cool about this was seeing what you guys were doing here at the National Auctioneers Association conference and show to even test some of the things we were talking oh, about. Yeah, and we actually, later in the video, we're going to play our time lapse nice. of, of our actual data collection, and then we have our data at the end of that to show exactly how it works. So stay tuned, we'll play that a little bit later. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff when it comes to Pokemon, and we didn't even talk about playing the game yeah. or how to be good at the game. We you know what? <laughs> Nobody cares about that, especially here at the National Auctioneers Association. Well, some of them, you know, John John. Yeah. But <laughs> what we care about is how are we going to get this Pokemon thing into to help our business, to help us yeah. make money. Yep. This is ultimately Absolutely. Is what it's about. And there's a lot of options for people outside of auctioneers, organizations, especially for you, yeah. somebody working with benefits. What can we do to engage our audience? And you're talking about a group where you're just trying to engage a demographic that is completely different, the demographic that we all want to see come to our benefit auctions. That's not all that happens. But wait, here. there's more. You got it. You got it. On Thursday this week, and if you see this vlog and you are out there and you have a chance, subscribe or join us on the Fast Talking Forum on Facebook. Search up Fast Talking Forum. You'll, I will approve you to join. And Thursday afternoon at uh, at 3 p.m. I think it's yes, 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to be doing. I'm going to try to do a live. Facebook live show with Bobby D as one of our stars panel. We're going to be talking about the auto auction industry, how to break in, how to thrive once you're in That's there. Right. And, and we're going to have a lot of great people on that. Panel. So we've got you, me, yep. past old news, the 2015 world, uh, uh, world automobile auction yep. champ. And then we're also going to have Michael Riggins, the reigning world automobile auctioneer champ, and the lead auctioneer of Barry Jackson, Joseph Mask. What a get. That was awesome Dude, to get him on there. That's going to be awesome. And then on top of it, we're going to bring in Michael uh, Michael Chambers, who is the president of the uh, of WAPA. Of WAPA, the World Automobile yeah. Auctioneers Professionals Association. And we're going to be talking about auto auctions. So if you're an auto auctioneer, you got to come to that session. If you want to know about auto auctions, come to that session. If you're not with us, jump onto the Fast Talking Forum. Maybe you listen. Right. Otherwise, subscribe to the Fast Talking Podcast on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, um, Overcast. I love that. It's one of my favorite apps. Go find all that. Get on there because this podcast is also going to be broken into two parts. We'll be running sometime in August. I'm going to post it there right too. Well, but you know There's what? going to be a special Q&A session that I think maybe only people attending are going to be able to see. I like that. You know, what we probably could do is do a little uh, behind the scenes video, put yeah. some stuff on the blog. So maybe we'll get a little couple clips. So if you can't make it or you're not here at the conference. Do. I'm pretty really excited about it. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have a lot of fun. we got plenty of cameras. we got plenty of auto recording devices. You it's got all it. good. So, all right. Cool. Sounds great. All right, so I've got a couple amazing auctioneers with me here. Now we, we have a young lady who's been to the conference and show a couple times. What's your name? My name's Joe Hart. I'm a third generation auctioneer from Steve Twins, Colorado. And I don't know how many conferences I've been to, but I love it. It's generation after generation. I just saw, I met her first time who's a benefit auction specialist. I just saw Bobby D and I found that boy with mountain biking last week. It's, it's the biggest, most fun, get together party it really is a family. It, it is, it's almost like a family reunion. So you, this is your first family reunion. It's my first, Bobby D, but not my last. And we met last year yes. at the Benefit Auction Summit in New Orleans. And here I am making new friends. We met your mom last year in New Orleans. And we're going to be at the Benefit Auction Summit. We're working on that together in San Diego. Diego. Yes. August 28th, 29th, and 30th. My name is Nelson J. I'm from Gabello Auctions in Seattle. We'd love to see you at the Benefit Auction Summit. Come out to San Diego. Looking forward to having you with you here in Grand Rapids. Okay, enough of that stuff. So, <laughs> what is, what's, your, what, what's your favorite thing about auctions? My favorite thing about auctions for me is the personal connection that, that I make with clients and guests. It is, it's the original social media the, It's the original, the original Pokemon Go. That's right. Uh, now, Joe, you've been doing auctions for a couple years. You say third, third generation. What's your favorite thing about it? I love the fact that you can put as much energy and passion as you have into it and your, your input out of place. Putting that needs to be used as a part of the 
adapted to benefit the communities and change the world. Yeah. That's what's all right. Do what you're good at and what you love and what you're passionate about and go change the world. And be yourself. Be yourself. Just be awesome, right? Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So she got into a little auction history story and uh, being a whole team. No, Valor. Blue is Valor. Oh, yeah. Uh, you got one of those right now? Oh, I have a bunch of those. Uh, no, I don't have any of those. The Doo Doo. All right, everyone. Well, I think that's going to wrap up my day here with the National Auctioneers Association. Day one, blog four, actually my third day, and it's a beautiful night. Uh, this is when the actual conference and show does begin, and all of our friends are getting together and, and, and to be a part of it. And we call it our auction family. And I know we're talking a lot about auctions and talking a lot about the NAA, and I know there's some non-auctioneer friends that are out there watching, uh, but it's great to find an industry that really has embraced me and embraced what I love to do and my personality and, and, and my passion for helping people. And, and auctions are just a way to do that. So I, I hope you're doing what you love, uh, whether you're a nurse, uh, you're a teacher, uh, you're working at a bank and you're helping people. I'm very lucky to be an auctioneer to be able to do it. So we'll see you tomorrow, day number five. Probably have a bow tie on tomorrow, so stay tuned. Thanks again for watching BobbyDVlogs.com. All right, have a wonderful, be awesome.